and welcome back to my channel, Tech Teach and Transform. So we're probably a little stressed at this point because it's the beginning of the school year. We don't remember what we were supposed to do for Schoology in the beginning of the year. So I wanted to make a video to show y'all to not be stressed, to show y'all how to link courses together from existing sections, how to get information from your courses from last year, because remember, work smarter, not harder. We've already made all of this stuff in courses from the previous year. Let's use that stuff again this year. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I'm also going to show you how to change your course picture for your students. OK, so let's get going. So the first thing I want you to do is go to your Schoology courses and you're going to hit courses at the top and hit my courses. OK. Now, you see how I have two social studies courses right here? They're under the same umbrella. You can link any courses that are under that same umbrella as long as the members are the same for your administration. So you have the opportunity, you have the power to create admin in your courses. Now, if you've already added your principal, assistant principal, counselor, co-teachers, anybody else to a course, it's not going to allow you to link your courses unless the admins are the same for all of those courses, okay? So it might give you a gray box when you try to link. Go back and check your members to make sure they look the exact same for those admins, okay? All right, to do this, you're gonna go to the gear and hit link existing sections. And this is where I was talking about with it being grayed out. If it's grayed out, go back into your members. You'll click on the little um, check mark and hit next. Hit standard CSV, download a next, and then link section. So now instead of two social studies, I have one, but they're still with two classes, the 300 and the 302, okay? Now, the next thing I wanna show you is how to get the information from your previous courses to your current courses. So you're gonna stay on the same page and you're gonna go to archived, and then you're going to scroll to whatever courses you want to get stuff from. So I want to get stuff from my reading course that I had last year. So I'm going to click on that reading course from last year. And I'm going to scroll down to where whatever folder I want. I want this digital resources folder in my course. So I'm just going to go to the little gear and hit copy to courses. And I'm going to go to my English language arts and hit copy. Now, depending on how big the folder is, it might give you a, um, a thing at the top that says this folder is being executed, but or it might say your folder has been copied. It just depends on how big and how um, much information you have in that folder, but it will over time transfer over. OK, so that's how you transfer things from your previous course to your courses you have now. All right. All right. The last thing I want to show you all is how to change your course picture. So to change your course picture, you're just going to go to the course you want to change your course picture to. I'm just going to change the ELA one. OK, it's going to give you at first, it's going to give you one of these generic. I think it's this blue one. OK, it's going to give you a generic picture, but I don't want that. I want to be able to tell my kids, hey, go to the one that has the perp, the red, um, the red um, information. OK. So to do that, you're just going to go and you can create this. You can create your course picture on Canva, Google Drawing, Google Slides, PowerPoint, or you can just find one on Google. So I've already downloaded one from Google. So I'm just going to go to attach file and I'm going to find the one I want from Google that I've downloaded. And I'm just going to choose the one that I downloaded, which was this, this one that I showed y'all before. Right. So I'm going to click on the red one that I have, and boom, it's going to change it. Now, if you don't like that, hit remove picture. It's going to go back to the original picture it was in. But if you want to go back and change it, just hit edit picture, attach file, and you can change it to any picture that is on your computer. OK, this helps really well with those younger students because you can just say, OK, go to the one that has the cheetah instead of them having to read the words on the Schoology. I hope this helps y'all. I'm going to be making a video as well for class banners. So be on the lookout for that. But have fun with the beginning of the year for Schoology. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.